YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Mara stock falls 9.38% at the time of this recording. So thank you guys for tuning into the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So at the present time, uh, we've got about an hour and six minutes left of the market. And Mara is down 9.38%. Uh, so if you guys don't know what Mara is, Mara is a Bitcoin mining company. So they are heavily invested in Bitcoin. Now, we know that Bitcoin has fallen today. So and the result, Mara has fallen as well. So just because Bitcoin falls doesn't mean that Mara always falls. Um, but there's a good chance that it, it will follow the trend of Bitcoin. OK, now. Mara is now at under $16, so it's at 1597. So the question I have for you guys is, is this a good time to buy? OK, so let's go ahead and, and look and, and see what's going on with Mara on the day. All right. So Mara, uh, we're looking at the let's look at the five minute chart. So you can see at one point today we were at seventeen dollars and sixty two cent and we've come down <laughs> to fifteen fifteen dollars and eighty cent as the lowest. So nearly a two point swing in one day. That's that's a lot. OK, now if we look at this thing on the on the 30 uh, on the 30 minute chart. You can see uh, 18, 12 was a high. But if we do go on a one hour chart, we can see at one point this thing was up to nearly twenty dollars over the last week or so. So a nice fall down from Mara. We know that the Bitcoin having is coming. So, again, how far down do you think this thing can go? Do you think this is a, a great buy zone or do you think this thing could go down even further? So we got as high as thirty four dollars and nine cents. Uh, back in February. OK, so do you think we can get back to those levels right now? We are at a critical level of support. And if we come any further, it can uh, be a nice fall down to twelve dollars and 18 cents. OK, so let me know what you guys think of this present move of Mara. Do you think it's time to load up, as they say? Um, if, if anything, I probably would buy it now if I wanted Mara, and then I would put a stop loss uh, at about fourteen dollars and fifty cent. So meaning I would probably lose about a dollar and fifty uh, on each share if it were to go in a reverse way, right? If it was to keep coming down. But if we're uh, going to make a big swing up uh, leading up to the Bitcoin having, then you know you can potentially make a nice amount of money. All right. So I know a lot of you guys bought this thing when it was dirt cheap. And when I say dirt cheap, I mean like 35 cent dirt cheap, one dollar dirt cheap, four dollars dirt cheap. So even uh, in 2023, this thing was down to two dollars and 19 cent. Did any of you guys accumulate when this thing was that low during the Bitcoin winter? OK, so it's highly important to buy when these stocks are down that low and you have to have a level of patience. That's one of the biggest reasons why people do not buy when it's low because they do not have patience and they can't foresee the, they don't have the forecast, sorry, uh, to see the future or, or exactly when Bitcoin or a stock is gonna run, right? So let me know what you guys think of this. You know, is it a good time to buy? Um, I would say yes, if you plan your levels right. Otherwise, uh, the best time would be to accumulate during a crypto winter. So when that happens, does this thing come back to one, two dollars? Well, with a low be about ten dollars. We don't know. So that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts about Mara. Do you think it's going to have a massive turnaround? Are you guys strictly swinging this thing, swing trading? Do you day trade it? Uh, I think this is a great stock to uh, run that straddle strategy on, meaning you're buying calls and puts um, in the same uh, price zone and just taking a difference from from the uh, call and the put, making a profit that way. So that's it, guys. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And we're out, guys. Peace.